Hello all, uh, welcome to Universal Group of Institutions, Bengaluru. Welcome to our special and unique series of Q&A discussion of civil service prelims. You know, after successfully completing the Q&A analysis of civil service prelims 2025, now we have started with the Q&A analysis of CSP 2024. In this entire video series discussions, we are going to discuss a very important questions that have appeared in the civil service prelims 2024. If you have not watched any of our videos of Q&A discussions of CSP 2025, please go and watch it. They are very useful. Now, welcome to you for the today's session where we are going to look at the today's question. Consider the following aircraft. Rafael MiG-29 Tejas MK-1 Mark 1, that is how many of the above are considered the fifth generation fighter aircraft. I mean, you know, the based on the uh, generation of technology, uh, based on the stealth features, based upon the uh, manu uh, maneuverability, based upon the intended mission of the, you know, the aircraft. Aircraft have been classified third generation, fourth generation and the fifth generation. Fifth generation are the one with the uh, advanced avionics whose you know radar cross section happens to be very low i mean uh, it takes a lot of time for the enemy radars to detect the aircraft in the meanwhile they are able to you know destroy these uh, radar enemy radars and they are able to take down the missile defense systems that is what the fifth generation aircraft is capable to do so rafael is being described as a 4 plus mig 29 is also fourth generation tejas mk1 is again a 4 plus generation so none of these, I mean, if you look at the fifth generation that happens to be the F-35 or the F-22 Raptor of the U United States of America. So none of this happens to be the fifth generation aircraft. So the answer is D that happens to be the none. So that's it in this particular video session. Do stay tuned for our next video where we are going to discuss one more important question.